In the early 19th century, the Italian scientist Avogadro proposed that equal volumes of gas at the same temperature and pressure contain equal numbers of molecules. In other words, equivalent amounts of different gases have the same volume at the same pressure and temperature. This proposal actually got picked up by scientists many years later and led to the idea of the mole with the value one mole represents being called Avogadro's constant in honour of Avogadro and his idea. Today we know that Avogadro's proposal about gases is pretty much spot on, and we say that one mole of any gas occupies the same volume as one mole of another gas at the same temperature and pressure. At room temperature, 20 degrees Celsius, and one atmosphere of pressure, this volume is 24 decimeters cubed. I say the proposal is pretty much spot on rather than perfectly correct as we have to make slight assumptions about gases and how they behave in order for it to always hold true. The key assumptions are that in a gas sample the individual molecules of gas have a negligible volume that can be ignored and that there is no interaction between molecules other than perfect elastic collisions. In other words, we think of all gas molecules as tiny points in space that are all the same size and are constantly moving around. And when two molecules collide, they simply bounce off each other. In reality, these assumptions aren't exactly how gases always behave, and as a result, we describe gases that are following these assumptions as ideal gases. We also assume that the molecules in a gas don't ever interact with each other apart from perfect elastic collisions. There are assumed to be no intermolecular forces between the molecules, regardless of how close they get to each other, meaning if two collide, only kinetic energy gets shared between them, and the combined kinetic energy of both molecules is the same before and after the collision. Kinetic energy here just describes the energy the molecules have as they move. All of these assumptions for ideal gases mean that when thinking about amounts of gas molecules in a sample, we can ignore the gas type being studied. It isn't important what the gas is, only that it is a gas, and this is really useful.